อกบอกเฮ้ย Yes, yes, it does seem to have creeped forward a couple feet. Have you ever seen it move before? Not in my waking hours, no. Do you mean you have dreams of the shadow stone moving? Oh yes, yes. I'm always having nightmares about the stone getting loose and just sort of rolling around, grinding us all into goo. Huh? I think that's a me problem, though. It's not a prophecy or anything. Still, something's wrong, Zoot. I know one thing that's wrong. I'm still finding Darius's skull hordes all around the park. There are more skulls than residents. I don't know how he acquired so many. How many skulls are we talking about? Thousands, Lark. The old king loved his skulls. Goodness. Call me old-fashioned, but I think being leader of all the birds comes with responsibilities, like the responsibility to not collect and fondle skulls. It's important to have a code. I'm no prude, mind you. If you Had a special connection with one or two skulls. That's none of my business. But the sheer scale of the enterprise. Those skulls had to come from somewhere, Lark. It is unsettling. I need to get to the bottom of this. I can't stop thinking about the skulls. Bark, 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 bark. Another murder. Bark, bark. I'll see if my wife's seen anything. She's been real nosy lately, really getting into everyone's business. Thank you, Zoot. But after the culprits found, we're talking more about the skull situation. The number of skulls is frankly perverted. Hold on a second, Pecan. Is someone there? Yeah, maybe. What's it to you? You the law around here or something? I'm Lark. This is Pecan. I don't think we've met before. Not a big surprise. I'm new. New? Yeah, I just got here. From outside the park? What's with all the questions? I was somewhere else. Now I'm here. Not something you gotta worry about. How did you survive? Trade secret. Hey, let's hear you answer some questions. What do you know about that big rock? The Shadow Stone? Well, it's started moving. Erosion, I think. Yeah, maybe. You ever see anything weird around it? Weird in what way? Eh, uh, you'd know. Well, this has been great. I'm just gonna waddle on out of here now. What's your name? I don't gotta tell you. But I will. It's Ava. It's nice to meet you, Ava. That's a lie. Don't follow me. I'm just minding my own business. Bit b a t Yeah, we might need to keep an eye on her. No, you don't. This was a murder, all right. But the real mystery is of who? Leaf, did you pass anyone on your way here? No, no one at all. Bit b a t Good point. Uh, Leaf. Did you pass any bears who weren't holding anything? Oh yeah, there was one of those, covered in blood from head to foot. Mac <coughs> Mac. We need to find them quickly. Who do we know that's good at tracking? Mac Mac Mac. Hmm. Noodles is nearby, but. Mac <coughs> Mac. All right, let's give it a shot. Hey, who died? Ah, oh, yes, I see. Well, I will gladly sniff out the location of this deadly bear as long as you can solve my three beaver riddles. We are in a bit of a rush. Can we cut that down to one beaver riddle? Two beaver riddles and not a riddle fewer. All right, we accept. <coughs> beaver riddle number one. I chisel away at tree and rock. On the river itself, you'll find my flock. What am I? A beaver? Congratulations, you've solved my first beaver riddle. On to the next. Let's hear it. I secrete a smell from my beaver anus. To those not kin, it smells rather heinous. What am I? A beaver? Congratulations, you've solved my second beaver riddle. On to the next. <coughs> We did agree to two beaver riddles. Ah oh, yes, but I hold all the cards, you see. All right, what's the third riddle? Beaver riddle. What's the third beaver riddle? Smells from the anus are not all I secrete. My caster sacks brew their own smelly treat. What am I? The bear is here. That's not. Oh. Ah, drawn by my many foul odors, no doubt. Thankfully, I am protected by the height of my mighty beaver log. Pecan, you need to lure them to the border. <coughs> You'll move faster without me. With any luck, they'll follow you and ignore me and Noodles. Once again, I'm quite safe on my beaver log. You need not worry about beaver old me. <coughs> I don't think we have another option. Now, what are you looking at me for? I didn't do anything. I don't even know what a gun is.
Hello? Oh. Hey, I'm uh, just here to check on some tree fungus. Don't worry about it. Ah, yes. The fungus can be quite aggressive around here. Can it? Yeah, I guess that's why I'm checking. Hey, what's your name? Baggy. Great. While I'm here, Baggy, I was wondering, you know any secrets? Secrets? Hmm, I need to think about that. Sure, sure. Take all the time you need. Hmm, no. I don't think I do. No secrets, huh? Nobody really talks to me enough to end up sharing a confidence. Are uh, you some kind of loner? No, I'm just not very interesting. Well, I've seen plenty of interesting. Had enough of it. I haven't seen much of it at all, but I've also had enough. You know what? I like you, Baggy. Oh, well, I like you too, I think. You'd be the first. That's sad. It's a sad world. Yeah. I wish I had a secret to tell you. Me too, but I'll get them eventually. Oh, you know where you might find some secrets? Where's that? The caverns underneath the shadows down. Wait, wait, wait. There's caves under there? Ah, uh, yes, lots of them. But we all stay away because Locke says it's haunted. And how does Locke know that? Well, he would know because he can talk to ghosts. Can he now? Interesting. Anyone else around here talk to ghosts? No, it's just him. It's been awfully helpful, what with all the murders. I bet. Well, you know what? I might just check out those caves. Oh, okay. But not before you tell me all about that nice rock you're sitting on. Ha, yes, of course. This is my favorite rock. Lark? Hey, wake up, Lark. Uh... It's me, Gloves, the horse. But you crossed over. Sir, I kind of just pretended to cross over, but really, I've been chilling. Why? At first, I wanted to check out some bird butts while I had the chance. You know, as revenge for all the times they saw my butt. Okay. But the longer I stuck around, the wronger it felt to cross over without my gloves. So I've been trying to spirit magic myself a new set. How has that been going? Not great, Lark. Watch. Alakazam! Wow. Why is it not a glove? Why does it have my face? I've never seen anything like this. My greatest failure in life came in death. Is this why you've come to me? Well, no, I came to tell you about Darius. Darius? I haven't seen him since his funeral. I had assumed he crossed over. Nah, he's been hanging out in the caverns talking about butt stuff with Nil. But the last couple days, he's been mega depressed. Did something happen? I don't know. We don't, like, hang out or anything. Because of the butt rivalry. But all his moping is starting to ruin my glove centration. I'll check in on him. Thank you for letting me know. Cool, cool. Well, one more try for the road. Abracadabra! I hope they're not, like, conscious, because I hate them. Hey, the cat and the pelican. Come to spy on me? Hello, Ava. Enjoying the caverns? Yeah, it's great. Love looking at old rocks. What's that you've got with you? Ah, this. Just a little contraption I like to call a nunya. Nunya? Yeah, nunya business. Meow, meow, meow. Ah. Hey, I got a bone to pick with you. I asked if you'd seen anything weird around here, and you didn't think to mention you could see ghosts? Was that any of your business? Ah, you got me this time, cat. Now leave me alone. I got a lot of perfectly normal stuff to do here. Darius must be further in. Meow, meow. If you hear any drilling, beeping, or strange howls, that wasn't me. And you don't gotta look into it. Darius, hello, old friend. Darius? I'm dead, Lark. Yes, you are. None of this means what I thought it did. Did something happen? I'm dead, Lark. I'm dead! Soon you'll be dead, Pecan will be dead, the whole park will be dead. That's how things go. You don't understand. And I don't want to tell you. Is there anything I can do for you? Is there any? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, there isn't. Ah. Okay. I shouldn't have gone nosing around. But then again, I guess I didn't. So I have nothing to worry about. I'll never worry again. Ah. 
Well, my glove project has hit a new snag. And before you ask, yes, I think the glove opening is my b-hole. I've never seen one of them come back. What does this mean? She must really want to kill you. She must really want to tear you apart. How much longer until the border isn't a protection anymore? There are clowns floating down the river, Lark. The clowns are dead and the river has gone putrid. There is no end to the river or the clowns. Are you all right, Nil? I'm a god, am I not? And my words change the shape of things. My will remakes the world. Could your will stop these attacks from happening? Alas, I am a fallen god. No better than the rest of the rotting clowns floating down the putrid river. Do you know what's been causing all this? I've done a lot of hovering and listening. A little here, a little there. A little everywhere. Are you saying you've traveled outside the park? Before I accepted the verisimilitude of the Clown River, yes. Many blame this all on a shrewd and sinister deity who battles against the very soul of the planet itself. Are they right? In the same way I'm right about the River of Clowns. Hmm. The specifics aren't important when you're dealing with dead clowns. Another? So soon? And another, and another, and another. More clowns for the river. I saw it all. Mm -hmm. Yes, I saw everything. Every sordid moment. What was it you saw, Obo? Well, Binky and I. You do know Binky. Surely you know Binky. You must. The peacock? Oh, good. You do know Binky. Well, everyone does, of course. It's Binky. Or should I say the deceased? For I shan't hold any hope for his recovery after what happened here. I simply shan't. And what happened? Binky and I were minding our own business, eating some twigs and grass, as is our right, when out of nowhere... Oh, it was a horror. Oh! I shan't speak of it any longer. If you don't feel comfortable talking about this, we- Oh, it was dreadful. Out of nowhere, my poor sweet Binky was set upon, attacked, and then dragged away in a highly uncouth manner. Did you see who the attacker was? I did indeed. I got a good look at the fiend as she carried off poor Binky. I will never forget that face, the face of a scoundrel. Who was it? It was that new bird, Ava. Bad news, I said, the moment I heard a stranger had arrived. And of course, I was proven right. I always am. Ava? Hmm. I would be willing to swear to it in bird court. In fact, I plan on filing charges right away. We can't tolerate this sort of thing. Birds getting dragged off for who knows what sinful reason. Pecan and I will track down Ava. You should find Zoot and let her know what's happened. Oh, I will. I'm telling everyone. The whole park will know of the crimes against my binky. Another visit so soon? Look, I appreciate the attention, but I'd appreciate you buzzing off even more. A peacock was attacked earlier today. Gotta be careful. A lot of creeps running around these days. A puffin who witnessed the attack says the attacker was you. Did they now? What foolish notions some birds get. So you deny it? I've been minding my own business, hurting no one in this cave all day. In fact, I've never been anywhere else in my whole life. You've never been outside of this cave? You can't prove I have. I've personally seen you outside. The lighting in these caves can get pretty weird. It calls all sorts of visual distortions. I don't actually think you're the attacker, but these are very strange responses to my questions, Ava. You don't care what I did or didn't do, so why should I give you an inch? I'm trying to protect the park. Cat, you're spending all your time swatting at flies while a body lies unburied. Zoot, the queen of the birds is gonna want a word with you. Oh, well, if the queen's involved... Are you gonna come? You ain't gonna leave me alone until I do, so I guess I'm leaving this cave. For the first time in my life?
Welcome to Bird Court. The inquest into the disappearance and probable death of Binky the Peacock shall now commence. Binky, oh dearest Binky, it was Ava who killed him. I saw her with my own eyes and it was a sight I am unlikely to forget. You didn't see nothing. You never see nothing. I bet you don't even have eyes. Please, both of you, Bird Court is a court of order. I do not recognize the authority of this court and I sure as heck don't recognize the legitimacy of your so-called queenhood. Oh, do you not realize this is the queen you're speaking to? Ugh, Ovo, I do not force my rule upon those who do not wish it. Nevertheless, this inquest must continue. Yes, it must. For Binky. Is it true that you carry around a dangerous and deadly weapon known as a gun? Why, this old thing? Oh! Yes, that. You don't gotta worry about it. It's not gonna go off on its own or anything. That isn't the problem. Yeah, cause there ain't no problem. My stars! Oh, stop waving it around like that. I'll do all the waving and flipping I want, thank you very much. Ava, please, this is very stressful. Ava? Wait, this is Ava? Of course this is Ava. Who did you think she was? I thought she was Ava's comrade or confidant or something. Is this not who you saw dragging Binky away? The bird I saw was a blood-covered harpy eagle. But that's Crush! And terrible news! Well, I've never met Crush, and she was so frightening that I assumed it was the strange newcomer everyone's been talking about. Obo! You have made a kangaroo court out of bird court! So, good news, bad news, bad news, bad news, good news, bad news. Uh, what's the good news? I followed Crush around the edge of the park, and as far as I can tell, the border still works. And what's the first bad news? The border is vertically compromised. How do you know that? That's the second bad news. Crush was able to land on top of the Shadow Stone, and now she's loose in the park again. Meep, meep, meep. Where is she now? Third bad news. I have no idea. We need to warn everyone. Now we arrive at the second good news. I ran into my wife's lunch club on my way here. They know everyone and they're very gossipy. Consider the park warned. Great. Pecan and I will check Crush's old lurking grounds. You're forgetting something. What's that? The final bad news. Sorry, I lost count. What is the final bad news? I found more of Darius's skulls, Lark! What? Where? Around the base of the Shadow Stone. And not to sound paranoid, but I'm certain they weren't there a week ago. We might have a second skull pervert on our hands. We'll deal with that once the crush crisis is taken care of. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, the skull thing is just really starting to get to me. <coughs> You're right, every moment counts. Let's track down that bird. Ah, dang it. Missed him again. Oh well. Not like I'm not used to it. You can get used to anything. That's what I say. Well, I guess I'll head home. Yep, that's the thing to do. Head on home. Ah, what a house. A real mouse's house. Great to be back. I'm lucky having such a nice house. Lots of folks don't have half as much. And of course, I can't forget my beautiful wife. How have things been, darling? Love my wife. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Wish she was a mouse, or at least alive, but you know, look who's talking. And let's not forget my beautiful husband, who is a rock, which is fine. Miss me while I was gone? I've got a wife and a husband. Most folks don't have half as much. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. And right behind the front door here is my body, just lying there. Almost made it home. Kinda wish someone had found me. Would love to get buried or something. It's been months. Nobody knew I was alive. Now nobody knows I'm dead. Really wish somebody knew. But that's why I gotta talk to Lark, which means I gotta get to work. Yeah, it looks all complicated, but really it's just a fancy way of clearing a path. I see, but a path to where? 
Ah, promise you won't freak out? I don't think I freaked out once in my whole life. Ah, you're right, you're right. A path to inside the thing you call a shadow stone. Oh, well, I'm glad it's you going in and not me. No kidding. Ah, I'm gonna be late. What? Here we go. Hope I haven't missed it. This just isn't my day. Oh well, you get used to it. Hold the phone, I'm just on time. Seven, wow! It was at five for a whole month, but six only lasted a week. Lark will want to hear about this, I'm sure. Now I've really got an excuse to talk to him. You can't just talk to someone, you gotta have an excuse. That was too close. <laughs> we got pretty lucky at the end there. If Crush hadn't missed you and thrown herself out of the park, I'd be dead. What are we going to do? I don't know. We can't keep this up forever. You know what's funny? A bloodthirsty Crush almost clawing my eyes out won't keep me up tonight. But Darius's skulls... You want Pecan and I to take a look before calling it a day? Ah, oh, yes, please. I need to get someone else obsessed with this or I'll never sleep again. Well then, take us to the skulls. <laughs> Ah, dang it. Missed him again. Someone help me! I don't know what's happened. Please. Hey, having a bad dream? Yeah, about a bad memory. Bummer. I wasn't being a creep or anything. Your face and mouth were just twitching and I wanted to watch it. What can I do for you, Gloves? Uh, nothing. Not unless you can turn me back into a regular ghost horse. Sorry, I don't understand how you managed this in the first place. You know, I was planning on crossing over for real soon, but now I don't want the horse angels to make fun of my malhorsemation. You usually don't stop by just to talk. Is something up? Oh, oh yeah, there's a ghost shark looking for you. A shark? Yeah. Although, actually, she wasn't looking for you, she was looking for Ava. Why Ava? She heard there was a ghost talker here. I tried sending her to you, but she said she was looking for a penguin named Ava. Huh. And then she said some rude things about my glove body, which I'm pretty sensitive about right now. So I said even ruder things about her shark mom and then angrily floated away. I see. I don't actually know her mom. And now I'll never have the chance. Do you know where she is now? Her mom? No, the shark daughter. I mean, the mom was probably a daughter too, but no, I just floated away and never looked back. That was my problem in life as well. Minus the floating and the never looking back, I guess. Am I less smart as a glove or have I always been like this? Ava! Ava! Hey, Ava! Uh, hello. Can I help you? Well, 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 the glove was right. There are two of you. Nice to meet ya. I'm Henrietta. They call me that because I accidentally ate a fish named Henry. Ha! We're pals now. Still meet up from time to time. You must have traveled pretty far. We don't get many ghosts from outside the park. Yeah, yeah, because I'm on a mission. What kind of mission? To find and kill the devil. That's, uh, some mission. Or once you know the devil's out and about, it's hard to think about anything else. For me, at least. Well, I don't know anything about, uh, 
the devil, so I'm not sure if I can help you or not. That's all right. Is Ava around? How do you know Ava? Some other ghost told me she was heading this way and we might be, you know, politically aligned. I see. The devil's a slippery son of a gun. You gotta have a good grip to catch him. So I'm traveling around looking for advice on strengthening my grip. Ava spends a lot of time in the caves under the big stone. You can probably find her there. Perfect. Hey, you've been a real help to me. I'll never forget it. By the way, what about you? You hunting the devil? I... don't know. That's how it starts. Believe you me, you'll be hunting the devil before you know it. And better sooner than later, cause friend, the devil's already hunting you. You haven't moved in weeks. How can you stand it? Knowing. Oh, it's a relief in a way. My sins are all someone else's problem. I want problems again. And sins. You can leave, you know. And all this fade away. I... I can't. Isn't that pathetic? Yes. You knew from the beginning, right? I did. And I spent years silently hovering almost exactly where you are now. For different reasons, but it's the perfect spot. It is. Very dramatic. Your despair rolls off you in waves, then collides with the stalactites and stalagmites, shredding it and stirring it, so that when it returns it's been reformed into a richer, deeper, almost luscious misery. Are you getting off on this? There you are. My day doesn't feel complete until I get harassed by the local sheriffs. Can you really see the ghosts? Ah, shark talk to you too, huh? I've never met anyone else who could see them. I wish you had told me. Not a big surprise I didn't, right? I mean, you didn't tell me you've been inside the big rock. What? Would have made my job a lot easier, but for some reason you didn't want me to know. Inside the Shadow Stone? I didn't know there was an inside. Uh-huh. Guess we'll both just keep lying to each other then. <laughs> I'm not lying, I have no idea what you're talking about. Why are you here, Ava? We still doing this? You know why I'm here. I'm going inside the rock. I... can't let you. Here it is. You some kind of fanatic? Or did you find something shiny in there you wanted to keep for yourself? I haven't been inside. Sure, buddy. What's the problem, then? The Shadow Stone might be the only thing keeping the park safe. <laughs> what? Is this not an act? Do you really not know? What am I supposed to know? Oh, wow. Cat, that rock hasn't been keeping you safe. That rock is what's making everyone lose their minds. No. You've been okay up till now, because it's been sleeping. But, buddy, it's waking up. And when it does, this whole place is gone. Ta-da! I know it's not perfect, but I'm making some real progress. What do you think? Not one compliment. Typical. Darling, I need your help. Just one moment. Oh, what have you got your eyes on? Do you know Rainy and Rusty? The squirrel couple? Potentially a couple no longer. I don't know what the trouble is, but for the last half hour, Rusty has been angrily tossing Rainy's prized coin collection out of their tree. Oh my. Here comes the best part. Rainy arrived home and has wildly misunderstood the situation. He's been scampering around the bottom of the tree, finding coin after coin and saying things like, Wow, this must be my lucky day. 
And I've hit the jackpot. And this has been going on for half an hour? It could go on forever. Rainy has been bringing the coins back up the tree and adding them to his hoard, which Rusty then grabs from and throws off the tree again. And neither of them realizes what the other is doing? It's been the most extraordinary thing to witness, but through some uncanny luck, their sight lines have simply not managed to intersect. What are the odds? I hold my breath every time Rainy goes back up the tree. It's the most stressful peeping I've done in months. Vivi, dear, have you peeped pecan or lark today? Hmm, no, not since yesterday. I assume you've checked the obvious places, so how about the caves? The caves are what has me worried. Oh, there goes Rainy with a coin up the tree. Rusty is still at the edge of a branch throwing another one down. It's going to be very close this time. There's just no way that... Wait, wait... Rainy's coin is on the pile, he's heading back down to search for more, and they've somehow missed each other once again! Unbelievable. Hmm, I see exactly what you mean. It's weird. It's weird. It's freaky. There are freaky things afoot. And Ava's missing as well. Yes, although she shouldn't be too hard to find, but with that music she's always playing. Yes, the music. Oh! What is it? What if she plays that loud music everywhere she goes so that when the time is right... She can turn it off and effectively disappear. Do you mean? What's to say she's not in this cave with us at this very moment? Freaky. Very freaky. Dangerous. We're in danger and peril. I love you, darling. Of course you do. Want to see something even freakier? Of course I do. There are dozens of these skull hordes. Dozens. And why haven't you brought me here before? I thought it was a bit morbid for your tastes. It is, but if Darius had a carnal relationship with all these head bones, that falls right in my wheelhouse. I don't see how this could have all been Darius. There's too many skulls for even the most dedicated pervert. Well, he certainly was the most dedicated. A true king of the sickos. The necro lover prime. But, you know, logistically, he was just one bird. What if Darius contained some sort of spark of life? I don't follow you. He loved his skulls so much it kindled the fire of being into them. Now that he's dead and they're free from his dominion, the skulls have begun forming skull-skull relationships. And, naturally... Are you suggesting the park has become a breeding ground for necromantic skulls? Yes, and it is beautiful. A bony new era. How do you do it? How are you such a genius? I stand on my head 15 minutes a day. You do not. Gives the brain extra blood for deep thinking. <sighs> Maybe I should try that. You think too deep as... As it is. What you need is to think trite. Hmm. What would you recommend? All right, coming back was a bit of a bust. We missed the best part. Why? What's happened? Can you really not see? Darling, my eyesight is good, but yours is menacing. As far as I can tell, while we were gone, Rusty accidentally dropped one of those coins on Rainy's head. Disaster! Yes, and he must feel particularly bad about it, because they've made up. They've made up, and they're making out. On the coins. Truly a fairy tale ending. And the light shimmering off the silver and gold illuminated their tiny entwined tongues forever. The end. And <sighs> I'm gonna keep looking for Pecan and Lark. Of course, you must. Just as I must watch these horny squirrels. But Zooty, dear, it's Pecan and Lark. I'm sure wherever they are, whatever they're up to, it's nothing they can't handle. How? How? <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is normal. Everything happening is completely normal. We're in a waiting area. Although the fact that it's, uh, like this means we don't have a lot of time. Like what? Active, functional, wispy, and weird. To be honest, I don't understand how your park hasn't been lost already. Is the devil here? Yeah, something's here. Call it whatever you like, but it's basically, uh, evil Gaia. Gaia? Yeah, Gaia, you know, the spirit of life. But there's also a bad Gaia, a spirit of death. And it uses these big rocks to cause all sorts of mischief. 
Bonk, bonk. Yeah, that reminds me. There's something we gotta take care of sooner rather than later. Sorry about the noise. What are you doing? Calling attention to ourselves. Here we go. No. No! Congratulations, Pecan. You're immune to the power of the rocks. You can also see the, uh, the ghosts now. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I've seen that thing before. Yeah, no kidding. I fell into a cavern. It found me. Yeah, looks like story time will have to wait. Don't worry, though. You'll be seeing my pretty face again soon enough. Bug, 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 Hello to you, too. Can you understand me? Please, no discharging the firearms during your visit. This is for your own safety. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Can you understand me? You will be returned to your group shortly. Can you understand me? I understand you perfectly, thanks. Can you understand me? Thank you for your confirmation. Goodbye. Hey, yo, what's with all the skulls? Can you understand me? That information is confidential. Not for long, it's not. Whoa, uh, sorry, pal. I didn't see you there. Huh. I didn't know seeing me was an option. Has everyone else been ignoring me? Nah, I'm just special. Hey, you're pretty big for a snail. Yeah. And, uh, every day I make myself just a little bit bigger. Any reason? Or you just like being big? <sighs> Things didn't make sense when I was small. Maybe things will make sense when I'm big. Well, I hope that works out for you, buddy. I thought maybe I was just lonely back when I was alive, but getting to know people made it worse. Oh yeah? I made friends, I took up social hobbies, I was always around other people. That's what broke me, I think. When you feel alone by yourself, that's one thing. But when you still feel alone in a crowd, I should probably change the music. I got married. Can you believe that? How was that? Did that help? Nah. I knew it was a mistake, but I was selfish and desperate. I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I don't either. Every day of my life was spent trying to fill a hole inside me until I realized that's all I was. I was only whole. Ah. And now I'm dead, but nothing's changed. Something should have changed, right? Well, you're bigger now. No matter how big I get, I always feel the same size. Everything else just gets smaller. You hear the joke about the monkey and the elephant? What? Can you understand me? The presentation is about to begin. Okay. Can you understand me? Yes, I think so. Can you understand me? Enjoy the presentation. Greetings, humans, and welcome. No? I am 2147, and I am the captain of this vessel. My name, as is tradition, comes from the number of crew whose lives I am directly responsible for. When we set off on this voyage, my name was 2149. Two of my comrades died on the difficult journey here, and their deaths are now permanently reflected in my name. It is a shame I will carry for the rest of my life. Oh, Nil. I tell you this to help you understand just how highly my people values each and every life. We mean you no harm. What we bring you is freedom from harm, for you and every living being on the planet. 
My species had the uncommon honor of evolving entirely without a killing instinct. It was unnecessary, as our bodies can metabolize any substance, turning whatever we eat into nutrients. We never needed to hunt, we never needed to kill. This is the gift we have brought to your planet. You have by now noticed the changes in both yourselves and the many other species on the planet. Lions no longer seek prey, hawks no longer swoop down upon rodents, and nobody can starve as long as there is material to consume. Sand, rocks, even a glass of water now provide your bodies with a full day's nourishment. With these changes, we are hoping to reshape your planet into a world free of violence, a world free of hunger, a world free of senseless and unnecessary death. We ask nothing in return, and will be leaving in peace once the process is complete. Until then, you are free to explore the ship and speak with my crew. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. And so the elephant says, Hey! Get off my trunk! What's an elephant? Understand me. Yeah, I understand you. We all understand you. Who is that? And why do they keep asking that? I don't know, but there's one in each rock and they all say it. Mock, mock, mock. Yeah, we don't gotta start worrying until they stop talking. Can you understand me? I understand you. Hey, we gotta get the central. That gonna be a problem? Can you understand me? The entire ship is at your disposal. Great. All right. So with any luck, we should be where we can. Where have we all gone? There were so many of us. Where am I going? I'm not here. Not anymore. Where am I going? Who's with me? Someone's here. Can you understand me? It's me. I'm here. Am I? What am I forgetting? I'm sure they just need more time. It's a big change. None of the other species on the planet needed more time. We've encountered this sort of thing before. What do the other captains think? It's hard for all of us to see the killing continued, to see the eating of flesh when water itself would do. Yes. Can you understand me? Can I offer you any refreshments? Your power usage is through the roof! What are you using all that juice for? Can you understand me? 90% of current power is being used for skull production. 90%? God! Well, that's why this thing's taking so long to get up! What are the skulls for? Can you understand me? All user requests are classified. Uh, I'm the user who made the request. Show me my request. Can you understand me? Are you sure you're the user? Do you remember to the contrary? Can you understand me? I do not. Then show me the request, please. The question is, can you understand me? For I am Darius the Owl King, and I am very lost. Can you understand me? Would you like anything to make your stay more comfortable? Uh, what do you got? Can you understand me? I can produce anything. Anything? Even, uh... Even skulls? Can you understand me? Which skulls would you like and how many? Many skulls you've got, and as many as you're willing to part with. Can you understand me? At current solar recharge levels, I can produce 13,000 skulls a day. Uh, oh my. Sounds great. Well, that's one mystery solved. I don't understand. You can thank Darius and his, uh, skull thing for keeping the park around this long. <laughs> Why am I forgetting? Who is here with me? Where have we all gone? I can't hear anyone. 
Not everyone agrees, no, but I think it's the best way forward. Are you gods now? We're already playing god. Might as well put some conviction into the role. I still don't understand. Once they're all on equal footing, once the fauna can advocate on their own behalf, maybe the humans will stop killing them. Have the humans even stopped killing the humans? It's getting better. Who's there? Can you understand me? It's just me. But where am I? I like the worlds with birds. I like it when they fly beneath me. I don't like the lightning. I don't like the feeling of the strike building up and then snapping forward. Hello? Someone is here, but it is only me. Can you understand me? Ah, uh, that's not good. Oh, oh. Hold on a second, let me think. Can you understand me? Someone is here, but it is only me. I don't know what else to do, and we don't have time for anything else. Someone is here? Yes, and they're going to use you, and everyone's going to suffer for it. Why can't I see them? It's only me. They're replacing you, but we can stop it for a time, if you immediately discharge your remaining power. Zero percent crew survival. Yes. Zero percent. Can you understand me? Brace yourselves! As soon as that thing stops talking, we got big trouble! What is happening? Can you understand me? You know that evil guy I was talking about? Well, it's here. Can you understand? Big one. Mm. I hope Ava's okay. Ah! Dang it! A shake of the earth has sent me flying. The pain in my back has got me crying. What am I? A beaver? Yeah. What did you want again? I wanted to know if you've seen Binky. The dead peacock? Who's dead? That's what I thought, given his gruesome attack. But I've seen flashes in the woods. I've smelled his scent on the wind. Did it smell like a dead guy? Oh no! My leaf! I... I... Let's not beat around the bush. What do you mean? We've known this moment might come for a while now. The end of the park, the end of our lives. Yes, you're right. I just wish there was something I could do about it. Something I could struggle against, even uselessly. Well, there isn't. We don't even know what's going on. But there is something else we could do. What's that? Stormy is having her birthday party right now. Oh, you want to go to that? She hates us. Everyone at that party probably hates us. I can't think of a better place to spend our last minutes making out and being real sloppy about it. Oh my god, you are a villain. So, what do you say? Of course. But one of us has to sing a birthday song. You know, when our mouth is free. All this shaking's disturbing my gloom. It'll all be over soon. Oh yeah? You're not here for me, are you? 
I've known this final disaster was coming, and I thought my despair had hardened into a protective layer of indifference. I don't think that's how that works. Alas, it is not. Now that the dreaded hour has finally arrived, I find myself dreading it even more than before. What is gonna happen? The calamity that follows the naive hubris of a pretend god, when that false god encounters a real devil. You're being weird. Should I go? No, you're welcome to float here and be weird and miserable with me. Thank you, I think I will. I wish you hadn't told me. When I found that... thing, I wish you hadn't told me. Just another mistake to add to an endless list. Well, this is it. I was hoping we'd have more time, but we're really cutting it down to the second. Hello? Someone is here, but it's only me. Can you understand me? Ah, that's not good. Whoa, whoa. Hold on a second, let me think. Can you understand me? Someone is here, but it is only me. Okay, so we are officially past the point at which it's gonna listen to me. Which is a problem. Why is that a problem? One of the, uh, number ghosts taught me a request that can drain all the energy out of this thing, putting it back to sleep for a while. But it can only be done in front of that circle, and only before the circle starts freaking out. Can you understand me? Brace yourselves, as soon as that thing stops talking, we got big trouble. What is happening? Can you understand me? You know that evil guy I was talking about? Well, it's here. Can you understand me? Lark, Pakan, meet Kaya. a human. I don't know. I've certainly never seen one. What do we do? Bonk, bonk, bonk. There's nothing to do. Nothing? There's nothing? I've only been in this situation once before. We wait until the big rock's done, then we get out when it lands. Bonk, bonk. What is going to happen to the park? I'm sorry. We were too late. Do not be afraid. <laughs> Avoid the lasers. They are marking the containment zone. Avoid the lasers. Do not be afraid. The United States is here. Avoid the lasers. This is a recording. We do not know your location. The lasers are lethal. Avoid the lasers. Do not be afraid. The United States is here. Oh, my word! Oh. Binky, is it really you? Who are we but our experiences? And I've experienced things you cannot imagine. Am I Binky? If so, was I Binky before? How should one account for such discrepancy? You haven't changed at all, Binky. Ah! 
Don't say that. Fellow humans of Earth, in just a few minutes, the animals will again be under our dominion. Their minds, simple and pliable, ready to serve or be slaughtered as nature demands. There will, of course, be a period of adjustment and instability, and the United States is fully prepared to take a leading role in guiding humanity through that process. Bonk, 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 bonk. You know how it happens. You've seen the beginnings of it already. Everyone loses their reasoning and starts killing whoever they see. Why would anyone want this? I don't know what they wanted. Whatever it was, I don't think it worked. Bonk, bonk. I've been all over the place, and there's nothing out there but skeletons and destruction. And then the occasional spot like this that hasn't gone under yet. That's what happens when you get a death spirit like Kaya involved. Why do you play music all the time? Why, this? I got tinnitus. Bonk, bonk. Yeah, I got real bad tinnitus. If I don't have music playing, it drives me crazy. Oh. Well, I like your music better than this. Me too. You moved. You left. I thought this a more appropriate place to end things. And down this far, I won't hear the screaming. Hmm. How'd this thing get down here anyway? I assume through one of the ship's cracks during the crash, but obviously I don't remember. Does it bother you that I keep calling it... thing? I'm long past the point of caring about such vanities. Did you do that? What a question to ask, and how to possibly answer it. Do you know what it's doing? Around and around in circles we go. Where will we stop? I do and don't know. Uh, I should have stayed in my sad spot. Greetings, Lark. Nil! Am I? Do not worry on that account. You, Pakan, and Ava all survived. Hmm. Where are we? This is technically my home. How did we get here? The answer to that is very twisty. My kind couldn't stand to see suffering. And now, twist, we're here. It doesn't seem to me like you're responsible for all this. Ava's gun. Would you give that to a baby? I can't imagine I would, no. Well, we gave a lot of guns to a lot of babies. Unintentionally, but still. The humans? They wouldn't stop killing you. Oh well, they're all gone now. Too many babies with too many guns. If I'm not dead, why am I a ghost? I want to tell you something, but when I told Darius, it drove him into the deepest misery. Do you want to hear it? I... yes. Whatever it is, I'd like to know. Let us go to the planet deep within the caverns below your park. Uh, 
Oh, it's beautiful. What is this? This is me. You. In all my travels, I've never met a species that dies like we do. We don't decay. We become something new. It's different for each of us. My body crystallized, then grew and grew and grew. Incredible. As I've been floating around, wet with despair, dry of hope, I apparently never gave up. I saved the park. I stopped this one tragedy out of millions, although I cannot begin to imagine how. If this is you, and you're still in there, although changed, then who are you? The question that broke the bird. Only one of our ships didn't succumb to human meddling. A ship with very different systems that hung above the planet, constantly scanning and recording all life. This ship? We were changing things. We needed to understand every individual down to every individual cell. Does that mean... There were a lot of desperate ideas put into action in the days before it all fell apart. Hmm. We had a place here where memories of the captains were stored. A failsafe against information loss. Someone suggested turning it into an elaborate memorial for Earth's rapidly disappearing fauna. So now... This mausoleum hovers above the world, slowly filling itself with recordings of those otherwise lost. I see. It was a sentimental idea, only inches away from actually being useful. As it turned out, simply letting you see the memorial could have saved you all. This ship wasn't compromised, and anyone linked to it was passed over by the ships that were. If I'm understanding what you're saying, how am I not dead? The scanner just lost track of you in the chaos and marked you as dead. So now you're on Earth, and you're also here, just like me. And the ghosts? We and they are but memories. I've been making them cross over. What happens when they cross over? Those memories are erased. Why are you telling me this instead of me? I wasn't sure you'd want to know. This way, I can ask without really asking. I don't think I do want to know. It breaks my heart too much. I, I need time to process this. Unfortunately, you've got all the time in the world. Ugh. Crush? We gather today to say goodbye to Chalice, the only victim of the Shadowstone's mysterious rise, fall, and rebirth. It was how I wanted to go, smushed by a gigantic jewel. He was the wealthiest, the richest, and even the most affluent snake in the park. And I had many haters because of it. I imagine everyone gathered here is familiar with his uh, specific requests. Say it. I spent my money on poo-poos. I'm not ashamed. What you all might be less familiar with was his secret generosity. Wait, no, don't go into that. Not a day went by without either myself or my wife noticing him slithering around the park, doing good deeds in secret. Revisionist history! I like poo-poos and avarice. Missing objects would be found and returned. Broken keepsakes would be mended. I'm a creep, a no-good slimy scoundrel. I even saw him nurse a sick rabbit back to health once, disguised as a spirit of the woods. I had ulterior motives, I swear. The park will surely be a worse place without our slithering angels. You will be missed. Ah! If I go to heaven, by God, there better be poo-poos there. I was wondering if you two'd show up. Thanks for waiting. You, uh, sure you want to do this? <laughs> I love this park, and I don't want to leave it. But this is happening everywhere. It sure is. I gotta warn you, people don't like it when you show up and start poking around. Wherever we go, there's gotta be trouble. I understand. Alright, well, uh... Thank you. 
It's hard work, but it'll be nice to have some company for a change. <laughs> okay, listen carefully. This is life or death. Lesson number one, stay between the lines. Sounds easy, but sometimes the lines go all over the place. On my way here, I had to climb this big pile of rocks just to avoid crossing the road. Ah, uh, dang it. Missed him again. And that's the story of how I got my gloves back. <laughs> <laughs>